Today I want to talk to you about a Drupal module that I wrote a while ago. That's, uh, it is a um, cache forming framework or micro framework, if you will, to um, to get your sites performing uh, a bump on, on speed. And uh, so the idea is that you're going to have automated processes to perform expensive tasks and save cache computations for later. And uh, the main way we do this is using the Cache Wormer CDN integration. So let's see what that means. So uh, if I go here, and now I'm gonna uh, show everything in a content stock site, but you can do this in your um, in your Drupal. Uh, in your Drupal site. I'm using Contenta because Contenta comes with cache warming out of the box for JSON API resources, uh, which we'll, we'll see a little bit later. So uh, in here I have installed Warmer and then uh, this is the base module and it comes with two sub modules, CDN and Entity Warmer. And CDN uh, comes with two plugins and Entity comes with one plugin. So uh, then finally, uh, there is just an API boost, which is a completely separate module, uh, which proves the idea that you can provide plugins in your own modules that integrate seamlessly to this uh, cache warming um, feature. So let's go to uh, configuration, development, cache warming, and you're uh, welcome with this screen, but uh, we're going to jump ahead to settings. So in, in settings, uh, we're going to start with CDM via sitemap. So I created a sitemap in using simple sitemap. And you can see here that I have uh, some lower priority items and then uh, some higher priority items. So my cache forming strategy here is going to be, I'm going to create a sitemap. And I'm going to give the minimum priority of things to keep warm. And everything that is higher than 0 0.5, uh, it's going to be always warm. And that's going to give you uh, a lot of performance. And when I say warm, it means that uh, it's going to be populated in page cache. So I'm um, going to click caches. And then I'm going to go to PHP Storm and observe that I'm if I make a query to list everything in, in the cache, tables, uh, they are empty. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to warm the CDM via sitemap. So the, how this works is that you first enqueue the items. So uh, cron keeps running. I don't know if you noticed this setting here, but it had a frequency. So after 300 seconds, cron puts things in a queue to be warmed later. And that is because we don't want to warm things inside of cron because those are potentially very expensive operations. Instead, we put them in a queue and cron will uh, process the queue, but slowly without uh, failing all the processes uh, because they are in a queue. So uh, I'm going to put things inside of that queue. And instead of waiting for cron to put the things on the uh, to put the things or schedule the things for warming, I'm gonna uh, use this button. And again, now I could wait for cron to start processing everything that I just put in the cache warming queue, but instead I'm gonna use the queue UI module to come here and uh, process the the queue right away. So um, if you remember our page cache table was empty. And now if I refresh, I see the recipes pages, the welcome screen, and the front page, which matches with the uh, recipes pages, the welcome screen, and then the home page, um, which is what we, we wanted. Um, and I really like this approach because it allows you to very easily just by setting two parameters. Just by setting two parameters, very easily warm 
uh, and keep your site warm because uh, every every so often even if you create no new content the content will eventually end up in the sitemap and uh, whenever it ends up in the sitemap it's going to be picked up by these rules and it's going to uh, be kept warm so uh, once it uh, gets in there it's kept warm uh, forever so anonymous users that come to to the pages are going to see a huge improvement in in performance so that's one way um, I'm gonna clear caches again and I'm gonna show you that um, you can have other things because sometimes you can warm you want to warm uh, things that are not in the in this uh, in the same map in this case I have these uh, two URLs I want to keep warm and I configured it earlier I'm going to save the configuration again just for good measures and instead of uh, clicking here and doing warm caches what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing but I'm going to do it with uh, with Dash so Dash warmer list and this is going to list all of the uh, all the warmers and sorry but uh, the mess but uh, it's uh, it it is a bit difficult to have uh, right so it's a bit difficult to have a, a nice big font uh, for the screencast and have tables uh, show properly so uh, thankfully the trash command allows you to select the, the fields that you want so uh, we said that uh, we configured this so what I'm going to do is trash warmer and Q and then CDN. So this puts things in the queue. And what I'm going to do now is trash Q run and then the name of the queue, which is warmer. So I did the same thing that I did before, but this time using trash. Uh, so you can see that you can do it. And of course, it uh, warms the caches. Um, these two examples use the um, use the um, uh, the page cache integration, uh, but you could do anything that uh, creates cache. So, for instance, uh, JSON API comes with some normalization cache, so you can create complex page uh, queries. Uh, reusing pre-computed normalizations and those normalizations get built uh, in time and completed in time so you can uh, get uh, field sets that don't overlap etc so it's a nice caching layer uh, that you can uh, of course warm with this so uh, we're gonna do so we're gonna come here we're gonna see that uh, by warming this page it already created this so we're gonna rebuild the caches and now we're gonna go and do just an API and then run this and you'll see that there is a lot of cache entries that have been wormed and uh, this was not created by hitting the API uh, sorry by hitting the URL under it because sometimes you want to build things that are not for anonymous users and uh, all that I had to do is select the resources and this went ahead and found all of the recipes and uh, build the cache entries for all of the items and say to that and the same for tutorials um, as you can imagine you can do the same for entities by selecting the entity type and bundle and uh, you can create your own uh, imagine that you want to create 
you could create one uh, it's just a plugin and uh, what you could do is have and render all of the nodes and allow to configure which node types and using which view modes so you can get the render cache uh, primed and uh, warm and ready to to be used or you could have expensive blocks that are are also um, very difficult to to render and you could have like a selection screen here a config screen here this uses from api obviously and you could uh, allow the user to say okay just warm these three different block types or these three different blocks and uh, have them be very performant so that's it i hope you like the module and let me know